Now, the UN surge stands for the fact that the universe is expanding. Does anyone know who this guy is right here? He has a telescope named after him right now. That's Edwin Hubble. Back in the 1930s, they thought it was cool to have your picture taken with a pipe. Okay? Hubble's telescope, as you know, is now circling our planet, giving us tremendous pictures. But back in 1929, Hubble was looking, at, looking through the uh, telescope at the Mount Wilson Observatory, this 100-inch telescope, which is in Pasadena, California, high up in the hills. And Hubble was looking out this telescope, and he noticed when he looked at the galaxies out there that they were all moving away from us. How did he know this? Because there was a red shift in the light, coming from the light. And that red shift told him that the galaxies were racing away from us. If the, if the galaxies looked blue, they'd be coming to us, but they were all moving away. So Hubble deduced, if we could watch the universe in reverse, in other words, we could watch time in reverse, we could reverse time and see it, see everything come in reverse, we would see all those galaxies, all those stars collapse back to a point, not the size of a basketball, not the size of a pinhead, but mathematically it would collapse back ultimately to nothing. So once there was nothing and then bang, the entire space-time continuum leapt into existence. That has implications we'll talk about in a minute. Hold on to Hubble, we're going to come back to him. Then in 1929, Hubble discovered the expanding universe. And he called Einstein up and he said, Al, re you remember what you calculated in your general relativity equations back in 1917? I am observing what you calculated mathematically. Why don't you come out to Mount Wilson and you can look through my telescope and see the expanding universe for yourself? So in 1931, Einstein went out to Mount Wilson and he looked through Hubble's telescope. In fact, who's that right behind him? That's Hubble. See the pipe? Einstein saw the red shift in the light, he got off the telescope, and at some point later he said the cosmological constant was the greatest mistake in my professional life. The universe did have a beginning.